we got something for him. So now T, now T, it's time now T, it's tea time. Go ahead. T. <laughs> Which leads us to our newest segment. <laughs> And what is the Moldy Butt Award, y'all might ask? (laughs) It is for all of those people who make asinine decisions about cannabis reform and decisions such as the one we are giving our first Moldy Bud Award to. Can you play that for me? It makes my heart happy every time I see it. Every time you see it. Every time you see it. Gotcha. I just, but that's, I just had to show you, I had to show you that award again. <laughs> Let me get back to it. Here we go. Next time we got to incorporate the claps, the digital claps. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. Come on, StreamYard. Did you hear that? We need some claps. We need some claps. We need claps, StreamYard. You know what I mean? Yes. And not only will he be sharing this award, the other ones that sponsored this award, it's the other ones. Here they are. They will be sharing that award. (laughs) I'm a little disappointed because, I mean... I don't know. I might have to reach out to Senator Harbison. I'm a little disappointed. I would like to know the thought process behind this other than a piece of paper. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, yeah. you know, no disrespect, but I'm a little surprised because I feel like he was one of the ones down there with us, you know what I mean? Years ago at the Capitol. Kind of understood. And it's the only Democrat. Yeah. Okay, I'm, we're, we don't do this. So, yeah. He probably has ownership in the prison system. Mm. Mmm. Mmm. Hadn't thought mm. of that. That would be, yeah. That would be something all them people to probably look making into. money off of somehow making money off of the prison system. Because remember, prison system is a capitalistic yeah. entity. It's there it's to make money. money. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. if people are free, then how does the entity make money? Like the hospitals, if you're healthy, how does the hospital make money? Because it too is a capitalistic institution. So while they're like, oh, y'all want y'all freedom over here, we working to take y'all freedom over here because we got to keep that capital rolling. Fun? Mm-hmm. Come on. While well, we Come can't on. make it Come in Houston, yeah. Georgia can't make any decisions to actually push forward with legalization or even for the medicinal. And then you have... You know what I'm saying? Those who are trying to help the people because you don't have any choice, we're going to lock y'all up. I love it. For life. Yeah. Your second offense with marijuana or your second offense with Delta uh, extract, Delta 8 THC, can get you life. <laughs> it don't even get you high, and it can get you life. <laughs> life. <laughs> wow. Why? <laughs> 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 Would I do that? <laughs> Oh my God! You know, I I really would love to know the thought process and 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 would it even really come out? Um, that's the thing. Would they even speak up and say say the real reason why they're looking at this? Um, but everything is like about about, about smoke and mirrors, I would say. Um, well, you know, you, you know, just keeping us all in the dark and see who owns them. Mm. Mm, probably and who, what companies and corporations and people have ownership and stock. And companies mm-hmm. like Kimberly yeah. Clark that supplies all the jails across the nation. And who ah. and Kimberly Clark? You need to get back to that. Wow. You know, it's just a few questions, a little click click, a little little research. It's really... And it's worth mm. doing some research to find out who's who yeah. and who's doing what. Because that would really shed some light on the reason why people are doing certain things that they're actually doing that truly don't make a bit of sense. Um, and definitely they they do deserve that moldy butt award because it's just pushing us back and it's keeping patients from being able to get exactly what they need um, by by just holding things up. And it's just totally ridiculous. It really is. It is. Yes, so, it is. So I what, what we got of- next on the agenda? Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to throw y'all off because I'm just like, look, I'm like, okay, what's next? 
Yeah, because I, you know, I'm pushing these buttons over here and I just try, I ain't trying, you know, I'll be pushing, I'm gonna get this down soon, you know. <laughs> no, but that one kind of like takes your breath away a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's that was pretty heavy. Life, <laughs> like, he was for Delta, was eight. Delta eight, eight? <laughs> Delta yes. eight, it's just Delta like, eight, that's really. Yo, that's disrespectful. I life wanted is Delta he... eight, that's just disrespectful. That's life for Basil, that's life for me. That's life for like, <laughs> that's life for like penicillin. Like that's life for like, it's crazy. It's crazy. Uh, life yeah. for an extract, like a cannabinoid. How you Lab gonna give me life for one cannabinoid, son? Cannabinoid. Like <laughs> right. Hold on, I make my own. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's not funny. It's not funny. It's not funny. Because unfortunately, no, but, but if this bill passed, it's, some people gonna get caught up in that. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Mm -hmm. Some people. Yes. Now, not all folks gonna get caught up. Some no, dispensaries some in the state of Georgia gonna keep selling Delta 8. We just gonna have to see which one. Mm. Uh, but, all I know is that this ain't gonna go down. It ain't gonna go down without a fight, especially for Delta 8, because there's too many CBD companies, CBD stores, CBD people who using uh, when did Georgia a whole... care about being on the up and up? And, and they couldn't move. figure out what's the difference between Delta 8, Delta 9, and they, they remember want to they tried to pass a bill last time, last session, that basically made the flower illegal. That's how they got around mm -hmm. the hemp situation because everybody was like, Oh snap, I got hemp. Yeah. Prove it. Mm -hmm. And they couldn't prove it. And so they was like, Okay, we got you. I think it's 487 or something like that. I was still 47 or something yeah. like that. I, it just makes it yeah. illegal to have plant period. They're just like, you know what? We got you. No, no flowers. And the thing about it is, it's just backwards. Because if you think about Jeff Moulis, oh yeah, that's the one right here. That's the one who was the one that we kept talking about. Uh, yeah, he actually voted for House Bill 324. You know, for the uh, cultivation for the uh, medical cannabis yeah. program here in Georgia. Let's keep it gangster. They doing this because this is Atlanta and it's black people down here and they wants to lock up more of these black people. Let's keep it gangster. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I mean, because really? if there was not a predominantly black city in the state, they wouldn't be doing this because they're not going to lock their people up. They not going to lock their folks up in Woodstock and in Alpharetta. Mm -hmm. And in Sandy Spring mm -hmm. and down in Macon. They not locking they folks up. That bill for Atlanta, because it's so Atlanta. Mm -hmm. That bill for Atlanta, so y'all can mm -hmm. get life. Yeah. So you get life. Because they got imagine, it in imagine Atlanta or Georgia being full legal like California. Atlanta will be. Come on, man. <laughs> Atlanta influences everything. I'm telling you. <laughs> I already know. I'll because because if you people that don't want to repeat the processes and the mistakes that has happened in other states, it would be different out here. And I think they know that. So, it would be and sad. what would be the primary difference? Yeah. What would be the primary difference? Oh, that it wouldn't really be no questions. I mean, it would probably be conversations about social equity, but in the city. We would be taking that and we would be owning that and we would have our own ownership. The game mm -hmm. would be locked down in the city in the city. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? There would be no space and place for them. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. And so we're in other cities where they're still having this major push. Although Chicago, we know Illinois is doing really well. Shout out to Illinois. You know what I'm saying? Um Chicago. Yeah, Chicago is doing well. Although we know that black ownership in the city of Chicago is single digit, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> as far as cannabis uh, dispensaries and stuff like that. So, you know, I mean, they just it, it's just it's just par for the course for mm -hmm. the, the institutional and systematic imprisonment of brown people at black and brown people, even the state of Texas. Come on, man. The state of Texas is like, right. I, fine. Yeah. Fine. You got Mississippi too. You got Mississippi that just uh, joined in, you know, because they actually put it on the ballot. And you know, the legislation there was actually trying to fight against them approving, you know, cannabis there. 
you know, mm-hmm. so, and so. It, it's sad. It's sad. But, you know, you did mention Woodstock and all those other areas. Those areas, they, a lot of those areas are looking and call. Well, a lot of those people in those areas, it's a high rate of meth users um, in these areas, the outland, but they fail to re- realize that cannabis can help people get off of that stuff. You know what I mean? Check the studies. You know, I think yeah, it's um, not, it's not, it's a, not a gate. It's not a gateway. It's an exit. It's yeah, an exit. And it'll it's an clean exit. up these streets out here. And um, it, it, it's just like, man. Like, so. Yeah, and it, it needs to it needs to happen. It, it it really needs to happen as far as the uh, decriminalization, you know, because I want to be able to grow my own, you know, as soon as I learn how to grow, grow anything, you know what I mean? <laughs> so <laughs> that's just crazy. I'm like, dude, what? But you know what's so funny? I meant I forgot. I almost forgot about this key point about Jeff Mullis. Is it Mullis? 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 He want well, to he uh, want a lot of people up for life for Delta okay. Eight. Well, so we don't have to get his well, name right. Uh feel free to contact me. Yeah, he that. said he said this is for this is straight from his website. He said I'm not saying if you for it, you know, whatever. I'm not we're not saying do whatever, but there is an active alert from the Georgia Cannabis Industry Alliance. You know, to contact your representative because, you know, you got to go ahead and let them know that this ain't right. You know what I mean? And for him, I think he has a bill right now that he's sponsoring for horse racing uh, to be able to gamble. So you think about what's more harmful, gambling and all that other stuff compared to cannabis use. What have you had had heard of anybody lose their house? They job, they wife, they family. Oh family. well, I guess I I don't know if that's a real good, but I'm just they saying it's play. just okay. But, they yeah. gambling because they choose to lose it off of gambling, not because you know someone broke in or not broke into the house, but not because the law came in there and arrested them because of a plant. There's a huge difference. So I get what big you're saying. Big difference. Yeah, big, big difference. difference. Yeah. But that's the problem. Yeah. They're putting them all in the same basket, and it shouldn't be. Like, I and that's just Definitely like him saying. Be. You think about if he if he just comes up and say, you know what, we're gonna go ahead and just take alcohol. You can't buy alcohol on Sundays anymore. That's just like what he just did. Just pull that. How many folks will be outraged about that? How does he feel about alcohol being sold on Sunday? You know, I don't know what his vote was for that. Is he the one who said no? I'm just asking. But so that's probably something I need to he look He still up. wasn't gonna give you life. In no. prison, no, if you did right. have alcohol on Sunday, if they found you, right. you with that bottle on Sunday, if uh. the liquor so opened up bucking the system on Sunday, ain't nobody from the person who bought for, opened up to the yeah. people who bought the liquor finna do life in prison if mm. you get caught twice. <laughs> On your second well, bottle. you're not going to do five years if you get no, caught once. No, not at all. But folks on that line. That's five to 40. <laughs> yeah, because I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, I, I am focused on the life. Because I'm like, yeah. you know. That's, that's, that's a long time to life for a plan. Basil, that's just crazy. Right. Like, that's 40 to life. I mean, what are you trying like to do? Feeling is crazy. Like, you know, that's a chemical compound. So, I, it's a spirit. Yeah, they like, they didn't even give no. Aubrey and them. I mean, you know, these, these man, these, these these killers out here not getting 40 to life. Now, you, you know, know what? what? You valid point. You have you a very right. valid point on that. There are people who've ha- who who sexually assaulted people, mm-hmm. murdered people, and they're not mm-hmm. getting this kind of time before an herb. This is the kind of time that they want to give someone on a second offense of, of having an herb. Mm-hmm. It doesn't make sense at all. It really doesn't. So we know that there's some other ulterior motives in there behind that. And one that you basically Not mentioned is incarceration. You know, right. wanting to keep people incarcerated, incarcerated because, of course, yeah. that's, how the, that's how the money is made. You know, if, if, they're, if they don't have anybody in the jail, then nobody's making money. Because you think about what they use these 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 these... I don't want to call them prisoners, but but people who are these offenders, you know, what do they use them for? 
They use them for, for labor, what? for various things. And you mm -hmm. know, there have been plenty of cases mm -hmm. where they've been out there where you have you have found certain counties in, in, in either our state or various states where they found that they would they were using these these offenders for personal use as well, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, so, you know, to do, to do things around their homes or their, their land and things of that nature. So yeah, without those people being incarcerated, they could not do that. So they have to have somebody locked up. So who better to do it with the, the, the low hanging fruit, I would say would be cannabis right now. And so and that's what they're basically using. And you know, what's sad about this is, Hey, dude, before you try and put more folks in prisons, y'all need to fix them prisons, dude. Fix them prisons. He needs to fix them because look what's going on down there in Ware State Prison. Girl. They need to shine a light on that. They All don't care. Are, they know. It's a shame. They I mean, know. You, feel, I, you need look. to take care of the officers. Sam, take care of the officers. Uh, which and one the prison. New York? Uh -oh. Which one? Yeah. Her ears fell what's out. What's the one in New York? Um, oh, it, uh, um, um, oh, wait, like um, Rutgers, I, Rikers Island, Rikers, Rikers Island, Rikers. Mm -hmm. Rikers. Mm -hmm. That's what I was mm -hmm. trying to think. Rikers, yeah, Rikers, like Guantanamo Bay. All kind of people lost and died up in there. Man, yeah, I, you know, I saw a documentary care. about that. Yes, I did mm -hmm. uh, on on Rikers and how bad it was in there, and and, and the, uh, it was basically dealing with the staff uh, not coming in. Um, and also the number mm -hmm. of people they have there it was too many people, so they're all on that's top dangerous. of each other in Rikers. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So that's that's and that one thing. So in Georgia, mm -hmm. that was here too in Georgia because you know they had a, a law. What nineteen ninety eight case in versus second I, I think it was before that because the inmates actually did win. Well, I'm sorry, I apologize because they changed the name to offenders. I apologize, but the thing about it is they actually won the case, and right now. The state of Georgia is in jeopardy for the federal government to take over, from what my understanding, for what I heard on the streets. So yes. I'm going to say allegedly or whatever. But the thing about it is they said the feds is about to take over because they're in violation of the case in versus second you win. From when they in Hartwick, when the inmates were being sold, you know, they were had prostitution they were sleeping with the inmates a whole bunch of mess down there with the women prison why they had to have medical condition you know medical services and stuff so fix the prisons first dude and then leave it like what man free all free all cannabis offenders free all cannabis offenders free all cannabis offenders free all free them now Free them Free now. Them yes. now. Yeah. Free them Free now. Free them now. Like, period. Like, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Like, the rapists, Let they go. belong there. I'm not going to fight for a clean condition for a rapist. You know what I'm saying? No. I'm not going to fight for clean conditions for the people that ran up in the Capitol on January 6th. I wish All they right. was going to Angola. I wish they was going to San Quentin. I wish they was going mm. up north and upstate to the worst prisons. Like, I'm not going to advocate for them to have uh, you know, good spaces. What I'm advocating for is the wrongly unjust and incarcerated people on the backs of this country and people who want to make money on locking them up for right. nothing. That's what I'm saying. Freedom people. Absolutely. Free the Absolutely. people. Free the, Free the plan people. and repay them. You need to pay them for what yeah. they don't lost. Yeah. What y'all took away from them. You know, over oh, a freaking plant that God gave them. Mm -hmm. Gave us. What was that? We already know what what we already know. It's in the Bible. It's in the Bible. You know it is I mean? there. It is there. You know? I know. But uh, I think this is what